And now, while we get ready to wind this show down, Jaylene, before I do my Dr. D reality check thing, what are some of the points? Oh, and let me tell you guys something. If you have missed the beginning of this show, don't trip. You, The minute it's over, you can watch the archive. You can watch it, listen to it, all of that. I've heard some people say, well, I can't find the archive. Oh, hang on. Irene Ramirez said, how do you learn to trust again? Real simple, you don't. And, and you're going to be like, what the hell? You don't learn to trust again. You just learn to be responsible for your own happiness. <laughs> that way you don't have to trust anybody because at the end of the day, when you're living your life, you're a human being, not a human doing. So stop trying to do your life and be your life. In other words, if you are spending your time nurturing yourself, if you're spending some time with God, if you're spending some time going by yourself to the movies and going by yourself to go eat and going and reading a good book at Starbucks by yourself, you're going to, people are attracted to independent, mm -hmm. strong people. Mm -hmm. And pretty soon you will realize that whether somebody is attached to you or not, you still are complete. You're still whole. And the more that you operate in that zone, the more what you seek will find you. Mm -hmm. Now, Jay, what is your check yep. for today? One, uh, take everything that we said today, including our callers, with a grain of salt. Um, you know, there's a lot of different perspectives, a lot of experiences that, that uh, came out today. And uh, I don't want single women out there to think that there's more bad men than good men in the world because there are plenty of good men. And I don't want you to be limited to just finding good men in African-American communities. You know, it's okay to date outside the community. I think we got to get over, you know, interracial relationships. It is just, it, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. I don't think every black man out there that's dating a white woman or a non-African-American woman is dating up in terms of uh, the, the woman outside the relationship and and looking at it dating down, dating black women. I don't, I don't even think it's necessarily a sign or a message to black women in every case. There are a lot of, of uh, men that live abroad never even experienced what we experience as black mm -hmm. women and men in, in, in the United States. Mm -hmm. So they don't even understand the intensity of race relations and, and, and things like that. So don't presume... Or the ignorance or of the race ignorance of this, Right. So don't presume that every interracial relationship is a man that is sending a message to... A, a black man sending a message to a, um, a black woman. And the same thing for the black woman dating outside of her race. Don't mm -hmm. think that she's necessarily sending a message either. 